is really getting out of hand. Shadow has not returned yet, neither has that Werehog, that Spidertron, and that weird, annoying Dexpool guy. Ugh, what's taking them so long? They probably just ditched us, leaving us here just to rust or mostly all the time. Just, I don't know, I don't know why I just said that, but maybe they just left us here to die. Hey, that's uncalled for. I mean, there's no way that Shadow would just leave us here to die. I mean, if he didn't come back any more time soon, then I would have just, you know, left or so. Yeah, Metal Sonic, you're wrong. I mean, you don't even prove a point. Shadow would just, you know, would have come back by now. Would just tell us what's happening. Ugh, I may have no idea what's going on around here. <laughs> what we're going to do, and then it will know what's going to happen next. Of course, of course. But listen, when Shadow comes back, or I have no idea if he's even going to be there, if he does, or if he's still here, we'll let you know when to give you the signal, okay? He gets the point, ain't that go? Let's go. Alright, alright. Just remember, we'll give you the, you know, heads up. Very well then, just to let you know, if Shadow or that guy is still in that room, or well, if he's not here, I'm gonna freaking barge in and take care of him myself without the signal you got me. Yes, yes, of course. Good. Oh, Phil, we're back. Yes, we're back indeed. Well, it's about time that you boys showed back, showed up. Yeah, we had a little bit of an errand to take care of. <sighs> and let's just say that error was a little bit of a, uh, mm, let's see, a little bit of a mission. But listen, we have a little bit of a thing to tell you, and that is it. Wait, Shadow's not back yet? No, he's not. He's taking forever. Huh. Well then... When he comes back, we have a little surprise for him. A surprise for you all. Okay, why don't you tell us? I prefer not yet. Great. So, what seems to be shaking? Nothing much, really. Just been sitting here doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> really just hope that we can do something. I mean, come on. I'm just tired of sitting on my butt. <sighs> well... I really just don't know what to do around here, I mean, there's really nothing must... must... There's really anything, nothing much to do around here. You have any idea what we can do? It's me. <sighs> well, I say that we should just sit here and just do absolutely nothing. What?! I don't want to sit here and do nothing! I want to do something useful! Then why don't you go and fight Sonic again? Well, uh... In due time, in due time, I will fight him again. Somebody's scared. I'm not scared, it's just... I'm just not ready yet. I mean, if I were to train and get more stronger, then... Ugh. I would have just, you know, had the upper hand again. I did that once, like, many years ago, but I'm not sure if I could be able to do that again. 
Uh, uh, fair enough. <sighs> you seem a little bit off, Echo. Is there something going on with you? What? No, it's just... Uh, yes, I am kind of being a little bit off. It's just that when we barge into those ha into Sonic's house, it's just... I saw a familiar sight. It looked all too familiar to me. Uh, I just... We do not know who it is. You saw a familiar sight? What was it? Well, there was some... Look, there was some, some endermans there that... They all look too familiar. I mean, they teleported away and they just... Uh, I, I really didn't know what happened next because I was like finding the other people. Well, if I remember correctly, I could have sworn I heard one of them say their names. And one of them's name was Jerry. Jerry? That all sounds too familiar. Wait a minute. That one other Enderman, saying his name was Jerry. Well, what did he look like? I wasn't quite paying attention, so did you even see what he looked like? Well, he had a weird looking, um, blue hat. Well, it was a glove hat. He was wearing a ring, and he had some type of purple scarf around him, and he was wearing all silver around him. And he had some weird purple bandages around his wrist. Ugh. That's all too familiar! I... I, uh... I know those two. You do? Yes. Well, let's just say, uh... Well, look. I know they don't like me all because of one thing. And... I just want to take it all back and just save them. Well, why don't you go and see if they are still there? Try to apologize to them. You really think they would still apologize to me? Well, I mean, it's not only that until you try. <sighs> you know what? You're right. I'm gonna go there and try to apologize to them right now. Wait a second. You're not going alone. I'm coming with you. Because if you're saying they're too familiar to you, then you must need some help. Because, you know, Sonic and his friends, it could be their help being, uh that Jerry and that one other guy. Yeah, you got a good point. Say, Rena, why don't you come along with me as well? Uh... Alright, fine. I mean, I've been useless long enough. But I'm gonna take my assistant, Kalis, with me. Really? The weakling? Why of all, all people, or why Kalis? Well, if he wants to become more stronger, then he needs to learn how to fight. Rena's got a point. I mean, he didn't even stand a chance against finding out orange and brown girl chick. Yeah, it's pretty best that you should just take him. Hmm. Fine. But if he messes up, he's gonna get electrocuted to death. Come on. Right behind you, brother. Hey, wake up, Kalis. Wake up. Oh, what? I was in the middle of a nap. Is there something wrong? No, it's just... We're gonna go with Brutal and Echo to, um, help look for Jerry and this one guy that was wearing a weird blue glove hat. Okay, then that seems fair enough. Oh, come on. We don't have that much time. Wait for me. I hope they know what they're doing. I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. Fair enough. Such a beautiful day outside. I mean, outside, but still, nice peaceful day outside. I can agree to that. Yeah, such a beautiful day out here. Nice sunny evening day. Ugh, you know, I really hope nothing can ruin this day. Well, Gibby, you know what they say: you should never jinx it. Yeah, I know. But anyways, it really is such a nice little day out here. Am I right, Scar? Yup. <sighs> Heard some people were chilling outside. Yeah, we're chilling. Yup. <sighs> you know, I can't believe it. It's such a beautiful day out here. I mean, the sky's all pretty. I mean, the pool is right there. Even though I can't go in water because I'm an Enderman and Endermans are allergic to water or so. And, yeah. Everything's so peaceful around here. Am I right, Jerry? Right you are, Ryan. <sighs> you know... It's so peaceful around here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's so nice out here. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm gonna 
Wait, Jerry, I think I remember we were supposed to talk to our girlfriends on the phone today. Oh, right, right, of course. Come on. Run behind you. Looks to me like Jerry and Ryan don't even want to chill outside with us. They said they had to go to talk to their girlfriends on the phone. Oh, well, in that case, then. Uh, you know, I really hope nothing could ruin this perfectly good day. I think this is the place. Huh? Hey, who are you? Huh? Oh, greetings all, greetings all. Allow me to explain myself. My name is Echo. Huh? Whoa, uh, we're not supposed to have strangers in our backyard. I just said my name. Besides, that's besides the point. Is there two Endermans around here by the... Here. I heard there's one that goes by the name. Jerry. Hold up a second. Why are you looking for Jerry? Well, if you must know, I am just want to have a little conversation with him. You know him or something? Yes, I do. Hey, listen. I'm telling you this. You should not be even be here. Besides, I don't even remember you. You're that guy that tried to, you know, take us all down once. Well, before Scar and Eddie came, but, but still. Besides, that second enemy you're looking for, his name is Ryan. Hey, besides, you're not going to get him. Or Jerry, either. Yeah, I mean, you're not here to kidnap them, are you? What? No, I'm not here to kidnap them or anything. I want to talk to them. Well, still, you ain't gonna get them, no matter what. Besides, you're not even supposed to be here. Get out! Yeah, Anthony's right. You can't even just barge into someone's backyard. You get no chances. Get lost. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to do things the hard way, then. Come on out now! Wait, what does he mean by come out? <clears throat> what the? What the? No! Ouch! Mm. What the frick? frick? No! Ah! Whew. Ah. What is this monarchy? Tell me, where is Jerry and Ryan? Uh, I will never tell you. You're gonna get what you deserve now, punk. Oh, I don't think so. Ah. Ah. Ouch! Whew. Good shot. Thank you. Yeah, indeed. We did a good. Ah, no! I'm good. Junk chick. Did you just walk yourself? Come here. Reno! Oh. Not today, you weird enemy freak! Uh, oh, do it! Ow! 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 Really, you again? Uh, whoa. Oh! Oh! Hmm. She thinks she's tough? She ain't gonna be tough for much longer. That's what I thought. What's all the commotion I hear on here? What the? Scar? Anthony? What's going on out here? Yeah. I heard some commotion too. What the? Jerry, what happened? I don't know. Alex! 
Alex, what happened? What's going on? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, look, you gotta get out of here, man. It's your, it's your inner man after you. After me? He's also after your brother. What? Who is this guy? Well, he's a... He's a... <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, hello there, Ryan. <gasps> no! Wait, you're that guy that tried to... take kidnap Tails! What are you doing here? Yes, I'd like to know too. What are you doing here? We whipped your butt once we could do it again. <sighs> you guys have no idea who I am, do you? Well, maybe there's something that will make you, you know, remember who I am. And what is that? Yeah, what is it? Your mother was a best... Um, Selvine. Consent!